hello everyone welcome to malkeep academy so in the previous video we have uh, successfully uh, completed our uh, meeting policies and we have created edu no private meetings too in the meeting policies section in teams admin center so in this video i will be showing you how you can create custom policies for messaging and chats so the criteria will be the same as we have created this meetings policy uh, similarly we can create this uh, messaging policy and assign it to the users so <clears throat> for doing that you just you have to click on this messaging policies and click on add so when you click on add it will ask you to add the name of your messaging policies so here for the example i am writing edu no private chat so no private chats for the users so you can also add a description what are going you are going to do here so here are the here are the some of the settings that uh, delete sent messages turning it off edit sent messages uh, turning it off and uh, read receipts user controlled chat uh, i'm turning it off so that students cannot uh, do chatting with each other and you can you can always uh, click on this i symbol here to read it more about uh, what this button means uh, or and uh, gfi content rating strict so and memes in conversation may be on and stickers in conversation on allow you are you are all previews uh, i'm turning it off translate messages it's already off allow immerse reader for viewing messages turning it off send urgent messages in priority notification again turning it off create voice messages uh, in chats and channels and maybe it is allowed because we are uh, creating a messaging policy for the students in a school or a college so maybe that is why i'm uh, turning every each and everything off that is not required by the students and uh, remove users from the group chats uh, uh, definitely off so i don't want that uh, students themselves are removing users from the uh, group chats so after doing all the settings and just click on the save button so we have successfully uh, created this uh, edu you know private chats with capital letters in it so now next uh, next thing is to assign this messaging policies to the users so again if you haven't watched my previous video i explained in detail that how you can select all the uh, users one by one or select all of them but uh, remember again uh, you have only you can only select 20 students 20 users at a time no more not more than 20 students so here i'm selecting two students and uh, i'm assigning my newly created uh, policies to these users so click on edit settings and when i clicked on edit setting it will show me all the policies that are currently assigned to these two users so i'm applying this uh, uh, policy to these two students and uh, <clears throat> click on meeting policy no no private meeting i'm also changing the meeting policy so messaging policy we have just created this edu no private chat so and click on apply so it is applied to these two users only not the other ones so let me assign uh, this uh, to one more student and uh, this one let let me assign this uh, meeting uh, sorry messaging policies to this user also click on edit settings so meeting policy no private meetings and uh, messaging policies and no private chat so i'm also applying here to the jimmy because uh, i will later on uh, sign in from this uh, jimmy students account and, uh, and show you that this meeting policies and messaging policy has successfully applied or not so just for the verification just click on apply so this policy is assigned to this jimmy student as on the screen uh, you can see that i signed into this uh, particular user whom we have assigned this uh, uh, messaging policies to and in the previous uh, video we have assigned the uh, uh, meeting teams policies that uh, no user uh, can be able to create their own private teams and we have also scheduled uh, made the policies regarding that no user can create their own private meeting so we have also have done in the previous video so in this video we have covered how to disable the private chat function in the microsoft team so as on the screen you can see that uh, there is no private chat icon in the navigation pane here 
because we have disabled it and uh, we have applied a custom policy that uh, no private chat for this particular user so now this user is not able to uh, do any private chats and uh, this uh, user cannot schedule private meetings and even uh, this user cannot create private uh, teams by itself so this is all about uh, this video hope that you find this video interesting and uh, see you in the next video and thanks a lot for watching this video